Welcome to Landriac on YouTube, helping you break through fears, giving you the tools to live the awesome life that exists right now. Oh my gosh, it's right now. By the way, what do you care what other people think? Oh my gosh, when I hear about so-and-so said this, I saw what? Let them talk, blah, blah, blah. They're coming from density. Bless them. Don't oppose them. They're wrong and I'm right. Landria, but what about this? Okay, let them talk. What big whoop. If you send them light and love, you're going to see some changes because they're going to pick up on that. That's all frequency, right? They're going to feel that. And you keep it up, man. You're going to, someday you're going to get a call from, you know, your evil stepmom and she's going to go, I'm sorry. I should have never said that to you. Or maybe she dies and she never apologizes, but you're at peace because you're going to the higher frequency. I want to talk about death today. I've experienced a lot of death lately. What is it? It's just people transitioning. They leave when they need to. Okay, so you know, you probably know by now. <laughs> I always say this because I, I think it's, I like to bring a little bit of fun into this subject. I am in Georgia. This is not a country song. I got a divorce. A few months later, my mother died. A few, few months later, my dog died. A few months later, my dad died. Then my cousin died. And then my brother. All pretty quick with behind each other. So my whole family, my whole immediate family is gone. Here's how I look at this. I know some of you suffer terribly with the loss of people. And I know it's tougher when it's especially a, a young person because you think, wow, they didn't get to experience all the things that they wanted to. And most of all, you're really thinking about they didn't get to experience it with you, right? Because they're, they're off to something great and beautiful. You're thinking, I didn't get to experience it. I didn't get to see them get married or have a baby or whatever it is. And then I have other people I see that like their grandmother who's like 90 died and they're, Ooh. yes, I'm not making fun of sadness. Of course, I was upset when my parents died. But I think of them as my team. <clears throat> we were all part of a soul team. And they came in and supported me 100% in exactly what I needed to do. And apparently, all the three of them decided that they did their job and they needed to go on to whatever learning experience. Maybe I have the feeling they're in school, all three of them. In fact, I know they are because since they've died, they've progressed so incredibly because, you know, there's no time. It's like, you know, they can be like a few months later, you know, they'll show up in, in one of your dreams or, or sometimes, you know, while you're awake and they're completely different people. They look young, they're happy, they're acting different. And then you'll see them a few months later, you have another dream and then it's like, whoa, my mom's happy. She never was happy in real life. That's been happening. She didn't appear for a long time. My mom did not show up. And now all of a sudden my mom's showing up and she's like funny. And well, she's always been funny, but I mean, she's happy with herself. She's just looking great. She's easy going. And my mother was somewhat of a negative person, especially about herself in real life. She never overcame her personal struggles. And I think, but she's, she's doing all that now on the other side. And it's awesome to see that progress. My dog shows up a lot, running around like a crazy nut. It's a Jack Russell. My brother, I saw my brother just a couple times, so I think he's doing work because he has not been gone that long. So I look at this and I'm thinking, why do we as humans know that, first of all, everybody dies? It's just part of the human experience. Why do we struggle so deeply with that? Now, there are you know, uh, certain cultures that welcome it, that celebrate it, and I think that's so awesome, but as we progressed or didn't progress as humans throughout history, we have come to mourn it. Because that's the ego wanting that person to be in your life. It's about me. Really, you're not mourning the loss of them, that they're gone. 
Although maybe years ago people believed that, that it, that that person was, you know, going to someplace bad. But now we know better. So when you're mourning, you're really mourning the loss for yourself. Isn't that the truth, right? You're, cr you're not crying because of them. They are like off in some beautiful place. You're mourning the fact that you're not going to get to see them anymore. So I just want to share with you that, you know, I'm speaking from experience. I'm not talking like somebody who hasn't been there, done that. And um, we're all going to lose people. We're all going to die ourselves. And I think it's time for us to release that and understand that energy just transforms into something else. And that you, those people never leave you. And those dreams you have about them are real. That's reality. That's you. There's no such thing as a dream. That's not the brain making up stories. That is your energy going into another space that creates and does things. Sometimes it's you, you know, what you've been thinking and feeling and you create a reality over there and you experience it. And yes, it's real. You can say, oh, I don't want that to be real. But, you know, sometimes it's just what we're projecting through our feelings over there. And that's an opening for our loved ones or sometimes not our loved ones to show up. Because all those defenses are down, those, the ego and the story that, you know, we're separate from that world, that goes out the window. You're now in that world. So my dad just took me water skiing last night. He was driving the boat. He used to love to do that. He was driving the boat for me and my cousin. So um, that was a really bizarre dream. So i gotta, I got to figure out the meaning of that. But anyways... Um, can you just sort of have fun with it and say, wow, we get to experience that. Oof, I could experience some sadness. But know that it, it's always one energy going back to the one that welcomes it, welcomes that energy that you loved here in that form, that illusion that was walking around, that was expressing itself that was a part of your life that still is and always will be. We're connected. Can you celebrate it? Can you let that go and get out of that dark place, whatever it is you're in, that tells yourself that death is bad? There's no such thing as death. Science, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It's always existed. It always will. It transforms. So you can speak to that person. They'll be with you. They'll give you signs. Oh my gosh, my dad. I'm writing a book. It's freaky stuff that he was doing. Freaky. Still does it. He still does it. He shows up a lot. He and I were truly connected. Even more than I thought so in life. I thought it was always my mom and it was really my dad that I was the closest to. Sometimes you find out things when they pass over. It's like we're still learning about those relationships. It's all positive. It's all good. Even if they... Even if they kill themselves, they chose that experience and they're going to learn from it. Probably shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. You have more than one chance to do things, whether it's on the other side or if you come back here to another planet. It's all good. It's all good. It's just, it's all the one experiencing things. And maybe saying, okay, I did, I did something here and... I think I need to go over and learn more and then come back again. Or, my work here is done. Yeah, I think I need to just go over. Traumatic accidents, like, you know what? I think I'll be more effective on the other side and maybe have a plane crash or something like that. Those are people willing to exit. Sometimes soul groups exit that way. We don't have those answers. We don't have to. All we know is, they were a part of that choice to go to the other side. It's not a negative thing. No one would choose that. Because your assumption is it's negative, right? If you're saying that. It's not negative. How can that be negative? It's the one. You're going back to the one source that's going to be there. And the guides and all the people that are going to help you and say, okay, let's take a look at all this stuff. What are we going to do? There's no judgment. Just review. Just review of... Could have done that better or I'm really proud I'm proud of what I did I broke through that fear I was able to forgive that's what they're doing over there and there's no time we're gonna see each other we already have
embrace it. Welcome all the experiences in life. And the, the more you can put a positive spin on things, the better. The more you can look at these things as positive and beautiful, the more you can expand into that beautiful, wonderful space, that learning space. And you're going to get messages and you're going to get positive, beautiful things coming to you. And maybe your relatives or loved ones will come and visit you and have a chat. I've had that happen before. It's all good. You are whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. You are. That's your nature, is happiness. Just open yourself up to that. Release all the pain of the ego of wanting to have that material person in front of you. They're still there. That, that DNA, that presence is always part of the one. It doesn't go away. It can't. Namaste.